Hey everyone, uh, welcome to this lecture. So in this lecture, um, I'll show you how you can use a Python script to generate a time series animation um, using open source tools. Um, you know, this um, um, tutorial assumes that you have uh, a raster data set that was uh, rainfall uh, from chirps or other sources. And, um, you know, finally, you'll be able to use a Python script to generate um, a time lapse or a time series animation to show some temporal variation in, in uh, you know, in your data. Uh, in this case, uh, rainfall data, as you can see here. Uh, it varies over time here and a uh, pretty uh, nice looking um, uh, graphics um, you know showing both spatially as well as temporally um, you know variability um, of framefall um, and we'll be using this script uh, let's just get rid of that um, clear everything so that we have well we'll test the code um, to make sure that it, it runs uh, nicely and I'll share this um, script on a Git uh, link uh, down below uh, so you can access all of this Python script um, uh, to you know adapt it and just generate your own uh, time series um, animation um, and okay let's get started so the first thing is to install this package or libraries and I've already installed uh, all of this um, in a conda environment um, and I've already installed them here um, you can go ahead and do that if you want to uh, and one uh, package that you need to install using pip is this imagio um, <clears throat> let's go ahead and execute that code um, it's running here it's it's done so we've already installed uh, imagio and let's go ahead and import all of the libraries that we have installed so that we can get started with our animation and it's imported all of that. And the next step is to set up your working environment here. I'll define uh, the directory where we have the rainfall data. And in, in my case, here is the folder that has, uh, you know, the uh, rainfall database. Uh, and so technically what we're doing here is just, we have, you know, some uh, grayscale, you know, Teeth image uh, which contains rainfall data uh, over time as you can see here 2013 14 15 16 and 17 it's a time series data so we want to just merge all of this into a single time lapse so that we can understand what's going on over time and space in terms of rainfall variability okay so next step is to access all of this data and just generate a graphics a time series graphics and the next part of the script is to um, execute that uh, generation of the, the static um, plot so this will like this all of the t files uh, you have um, let me just change this here um, all of these files it will access that and uh, using a raster you uh, package and um, generate um, will actually change this into uh, red yellow red yellow blue we have to change this if you in case if you want uh, if you want to uh, change the color bar uh, in a reverse order that's what you need to do otherwise we'll be using this color for our plotting and then we need define we need to define the uh, figure size which is 20 by 15 in this case and actually um, you know plot the the data so in this case it will just um, use a for loop uh, to ge to generate plot for each of the rasters, okay? And so LCPRI is the the final uh, raster file that we want to call to map, and then we um, pass that color parameter here, and also just define the minimum and maximum. And the next part of the code is just you know adding some aesthetics or style to the map, you know you know the title. Um, and also some of the color bar title as well as some, you know, um, generating color bar and, um, <clears throat> you know, tick label and things like that. So uh, I'll go ahead and then execute this. And when I execute that, I would see, um, let me just check here. We have not executed yet the directory, so it's not running. So just we need to do that. 
So the other part of this directory is it will create an automatic uh, a new folder, which is animation, which we will need to use to store all of our animation files. Here we go. Once we execute that, this animation folder is created. It, it's empty now. So once we generate the plots, it will save them here. And let's execute this part of the code which generates CC. So you can monitor um, all of, the, you know, you can monitor the progress of this um, uh, execution of these plots for each of the years now. So now I can see that all of the, the plots, uh, the static plots are complete. We can just uh, change the, the, the zoom, um, the size here. You can see all of the static, um, you know, plots. The next step is to pull all this, um, you know, static place and generate a, a GIF animation. Let's just execute that part of the code. So you can see that animation is created. And if you see uh, by detail, you can see that all of the static images are PNG and then the final animation is GIF. It's a GIF animation, it's called Animation Rainfall, right? You can see that we have, now we are able to generate this time series animation, um, and which is pretty cool, right? We have this plot and had a, it has a title and also a date stamp for each of the year. And also it has a, a nice, uh, you know, um, color bar um, indicating the rainfall amount, okay? And, you know, we have uh, a lot of static files here. We, we want to get rid of that since we are already done with all of that and just accept the animation files. So the next bit of the script will remove that, all of those files. I'll just go ahead and then execute that. And all of the files are removed, uh, have been removed. And let's check that. Here we go. So we don't have anything except the animation file, right? That way uh, it's pretty clean, okay? And the next thing is to actually, in case you want to, you know, visualize that file, that animation file, you can also pull it here in the dashboard so that way it's, it's a little fancier, right? Let's just go ahead and execute that, okay? So what it does is just it will pull that animation G file and then displace it here. Okay, cool. So as you can see here, we are able to see, you know, the animation um, and... You know, it goes from all of the image, it starts from 2013 to 2017. If you go uh, back to the data, the raw data, it will start from 2013 to 2017. That's right. So this is how you can generate um, a Python um, uh, a time lapse animation of rainfall or climate data using uh, an open source Python tool.